Welcome again to Own Your Fitness. This is Adam Dare, head founder and coach of Own Your Fitness Personal Training, where skinny women get tips on how to gain quality weight and quality curves. And it did really well. We got a lot of requests to make another one with some new tips. Um, so here it goes. But before we start the video, go ahead and subscribe go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe because we're trying to grow this channel where skinny women get the best tips and true scientific based principles on how to gain quality muscle and lean sexy curves so without further delay let me begin with the first principle okay today's first principle you have to use resistance training there's no ifs or buts around that. You have to use resistance training. Now, resistance training comes in many different forms. Your own body weight, if you're a beginner, most people call it calisthenics, but it's still resistance training because you're using your weight to lift yourself off the floor. For example, if you're doing a push up, or example, if you're doing a body weight squat, or example, if you're doing a single leg squat to challenge yourself further, or if you're doing a gym workout, you're lifting weights, but you have to use resistance training. Now, let's say you're past your own body weight and you need resistance. The next workout I'm gonna show you, or example I'm gonna show you is using resistance bands at home, especially now that we're doing home workouts. Resistance trainings are amazing. The reason why they're amazing is because it gives you an additional resistance, a flow of elasticity that basically overrides or takes your body weight to the next level. For example, look at this. I'm here demonstrating a single leg squat with resistance brain while I'm FaceTiming one of my clients on how to build muscle and lean curves. The other thing that you can do is if you have free weights at home, that's perfect, like a five pound dumbbell or 10 pound dumbbell to start. I mean, these are all recommendations. I want you to do what's best for you and what you feel. Now, how do you tell what's best for you? That brings me to first principle number two and then principle number three. Principle number two is you have to train or do your reps with the pursuit, and I mean it, with the pursuit of feeling that intended muscle to work. What do I mean by that? So for example, look at this. You're doing a single leg squat to build your glutes, to activate your glute muscle fiber, which is the largest muscle in the human body. Look at how this woman is doing it. Look at how the form is. I'm basically stabilizing her knee in order for her to only direct that muscle tension into her hamstrings and her glutes to feel and develop the back of the leg where most women, even if they're skinny, they gain weight there with age. So we're targeting that. So you have to do it with an intended pursuit to work and tone that muscle and drive that tension into that muscle. Let me give you another example. Look at this person doing the seated row or the band work or an overhead press. Where do you feel the tension? In your shoulders and when you develop your shoulders you basically streamline your physique like that and with a proper diet and everything which we're going to talk about later you can, if you can drop body fat and build a nice sexy muscle tone in your shoulders and your hips your body shape looks like this that's what we call an hourglass so we've helped a lot of women develop lean sexy curves using natural bodybuilding strength training muscle toning principles with the right diet which we'll get to later so let me go back to um, principle number two you have to use intended tended muscle tension always remember what are you trying to tone what are you trying to build you're trying to build your glutes Put the muscle tension there, connect your mind over there. Okay, which brings me to principle number three. Every rep and every set you do per the muscle group, you have to get your body to a level where you're feeling temporary muscle failure, TMF, temporary muscle failure, which means your body is coming to its limit, it's hitting a wall. It's knocking on a wall and saying, hey, get stronger, get fitter. My master is giving me more resistance. Do you understand that principle? You actually have to hit that muscle to be 
temporary uncomfortable. What that does is it trains your brain, your mind, to send a signal to your body to grow, to adapt. And we call that the adaptation process in personal training. Once you do that and follow it up with the right diet, you're going to start seeing a couple of things. A, you're going to get stronger. I mean, you'll be able to do more reps. B, you'll feel the muscle tighter and you're going to be able to see more reps. Uh, sorry, you're going to feel the muscle tighter, which means you're going to feel more muscle tone. Your jeans are going to be fitting better. Your, le your workout spandex is going to be fitting better. You'll be dropping a little bit of body fat. That's another principle that I want to focus on. When you do resistance training or strength training and start building muscle, go on the journey of building yourself up, you're going to see your metabolism come all the way up. You're going to feel that your metabolism rev up. Your appetite's going to go up and you're going to start revving and dropping body fat at the same time, which is a double whammy. It's amazing when that happens. Let me move on to my next principle on how skinny women can gain quality weight. Okay, next is nutrition. Now, nutrition is extremely important. Now, I can't comment on how important nutrition is. Now, it's a little tricky. What do I mean by that? That's what I mean. So there is different body types. If you're an ectomorph, that means you're a hard gainer. That means you're a naturally skinny person, okay? You're going to have to decide to increase your macros. That could be a combination of protein and carbs. It could just be a combination of protein. These are all recommendations that we give to our clients, our students that come to us to put on quality, lean, lean quality curves in their hips and in their back and in their shoulders and tighten up the waist. So let's deal with the ectomorph. Let's say an ectomorph is someone that's naturally skinny, extremely hard to gain weight, doesn't matter how much pizza or burgers or dessert they eat. This is someone that needs to increase their protein and their healthy carbs, like sweet potato, a lot of vegetables, a, plate, a small portion of brown rice. This is, these are things that we've seen work with our people in our business that own your fitness personal training. And I recommend that you play with that, you test that. And of course, if you need specific guidelines, feel free to drop me a note at On Your Fitness Personal Training or drop me a comment. I will get back to you and maybe we can schedule an assessment. Second, if you're an endomorph, someone that's rounder, someone that gains weight, and when they work out, they drop the body fat a little bit, but they're still kind of rounder and they have to work harder on the dieting aspect to become leaner and tighter and a little bit more streamlined. This is someone that's called an endomorph. For that person, we usually increase the protein macros, not increase as much carbs or fat. We keep that uh, on the lower end depending on how much weight they've got to lose or how much body fat they've got to lose, but we, we play with the protein a little bit more and uh, get them to do a little bit more cardio and, and they start, you know, shaping out. And then there's a mesomorph, someone who builds muscle a little bit easier, has a little bit more body fat too, but then that's a different story. But for today's video, we're talking about how skinny women can gain quality weight. So for skinny women, you've got to play with your macros, your protein and your carbs. Now, when it comes to your home workouts and resistance training on how to build quality, lean, sexy curves, recommended cur recommended reps, recommended reps are always between 10 to 15 for beginners. I never recommend anything higher or anything lower. The reason is because in the beginning, you have to give enough stimulation and enough repetition to build a skill. So for instance, like this woman is doing a squat or a single leg squat or a push-up. She's doing enough reps to build that skill, to drive that motor unit from your brain to, for that, that neuromuscular connection to your muscle. So remembers that. Now what happens if you stick with the same reps for too long? What ends up happening is that your body gets used to it. You'll be able to have a conversation while you're doing your push-ups and your squats and your body gets in a state called the autonomous phase. This is where you're walking to the mall while telling your friend about how your weekend is. You follow me? This is what the autonomous phase in training is. You never want to be in that phase. You, will, you, can't, you always want to aim to be in the adaptation phase. What that really means is that your body's always learning to adapt. Like take, take a look at this example. Does this person look like uh, 
an easy time doing this exercise or there is that mild level of discomfort that's what you want to go for you want to go for mild to medium level of discomfort and do the the workout enough times per week for your body to now grow like compound interest you get me so let me talk about what the frequency is frequency next principle something that we've noticed with our clients are female skinny women who want to gain weight best tips for skinny women to gain weight we've hit each muscle group in the beginning twice not three times the reason is because the muscle needs to recover so for example look at this leg day and look at the intensity the compilation of these exercises now let's say for example hypothetically speaking you do this on a Monday and a Thursday you have two full days in between to recover and then you hit that same body part or region for example lower body again to gain sexy curves so that gives you that allocates you enough time for your muscle fibers to recuperate you follow me and that rest period is extremely important but let's say you want to gain weight all over so what you would do is you would do Monday for example these are recommendations right lower body Tuesday upper body Wednesday full day off cardio go for a walk uh, loosen up the lactate acid recover do some stretching Thursday lower body Friday upper body you follow me so you really really want to make sure that you're giving adequate time in the beginning we always say two days off 48 hours a day 48 hours off now let's say you're more conditioned you're an intermediate person but you're still having a hard time putting on weight because you're on the wrong program we hit the same muscle group three times a week so it'd be lower body Monday lower body Wednesday lower body Friday for example if your lower body is where you want to gain most weight because we have a glute workout program that does fantastic we've got an eight-week glute program that crushes any glute workout program out there so that's basically what we do in a nutshell on how to gain weight for skinny women how to build lean sexy curves for skinny women now keep in mind all this is possibly at home with the right diet and the right workout program so just to recap to conclude principles on how skinny women can build lean sexy curves you have to do resistance training that's number one you have to do strength training with with the purpose of getting stronger and building muscle which ties into the second principle which is the pursuit of driving as much muscle tension into the intended muscle that you want to train into the intended muscle that you want to develop that's two Three, you have to bring yourself to temporary failure and you have to bring yourself to temporary discomfort. Otherwise, the body does not go into adaptation phase. You got me. Four, you have to get your nutrition in check. You have to figure out whether you're someone that needs to increase your both macros, carbs and protein, both or just protein. We can help you with that. And the technique is wrong you're not hitting the muscle right like single leg squat pause up contraction of the muscle drive pause that's the lengthening of the muscle up so the muscle works in a very scientific way so you really got to feel that muscle work so a lot of times maybe that's really what the problem is and, and maybe a zoom session would do better or maybe just like a consultation on zoom and we can design a workout program for you and then keep you on a weekly tab and and follow up with you an accountability phone call where we can say look did you do this did you do your nutrition did you do this frequency did you work with that principle and keep on top of you so go ahead and subscribe we love to put information out that we're trying to grow this uh, channel full of valuable science-based information um, if you need to personally get hold of me drop me a comment um, or my website is ownyourfitness.net. Until next time, have a great workout, have a great day. Cheers.